Great. Yeah. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, death on the first run. Death on the first run. Oh, that ought to be fun. Darkest dungeon. Coming from the switch. Ruin has come to our family. <laughs> Ruin has come, come to our, our family. family. You remember our venerable house. <laughs> Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. This game is awesome. I lived this game all is my awesome. years in that ancient, rumor shadowed man. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. By decadence and luxury. Brought to you by and the yet Switch. I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. This game is awesome. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm, realm of, of death madness. And madness. A realm of madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable, venerable house. house. Opulent, Opulent and imperial. imperial. I'm, n I'm not a good... It is a festering abomination. I'm not nearly I good at the voice actor as this guy is, dude. Claim your birthright and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows. This voice actor is like a 10 out of 10, man. Of the darkest dungeon. Of the darkest dungeon. Here we go. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Darkest Dungeon. New estate. Uh, yes, let's do all the DLC. Well, not the Musketeer. I, I, Musketeer DLC is stupid. I uh, find I'll add Musketeer DLC as well. It's just a reskinned Arbalast. So, hello. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I've played this game a lot. I may actually uh, play it for 80 hours or more. So, welcome to Dark Dungeon, brought to you by the Switch and me raging at trying to get my capture card working. After an hour of like madness, I finally got it working. I have done uh, a torchless run of this, uh, a normal, unlike darkest mode. Uh, I never finished it because the la one of the, the last few dungeons, Torchless, is absolutely nightmarish. So I kind of gave up on it. But now I'm back at Darkest Dungeon. I'm not planning on doing Torchless. Not yet at least. But I have never played the these DLCs. And I've never seen anything about these DLCs. So that's completely new to me. I only know a lot about the base game. Crimson Court. No, this is not my first estate. Darkest. We're gonna go darkest here. But yeah, I'm playing this on the Switch because I wanted to buy Darkest Dungeon. And Darkest Dungeon on the Switch was like 66% off or something. From like 30 uh, euros, it went down to like 7-ish. Uh, so like, that was that's really cheap. If you haven't played this game yet, go buy it. If you like roguelites, you like a bit of difficulty, you like losing, basically, go buy this game. It's a great game. Sure, I'll watch the intro cutscene again. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. I don't know if there's anything new to this. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. 
and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness. So I think every everything is all right. There may be a bit of issues here. Hello there. <laughs> oh, this game is great. Without madness. No bravery without madness. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Is this different? I don't remember. I haven't seen this in a long time. The old road. Let's go with the tutorial. So yeah, I, I'm kind, I'm like familiar with the controls. I know the basic characters. I know there are new characters, but I've never played with them. Navigation. I know. I know. I know. Hello, bandit. This thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Kill the enemy. I know. Yeah, let's make him bleed. Look how good I am at this game. I'm not gonna lose a single hero. <laughs> I'll see how this goes. I have heard that the DLC is quite difficult. For most of these curios, I know what I can do with it, but not all of them. It's not 100% smooth, but that's what you're gonna get. Like, it's a $20 capture card. You can't expect top quality from that. Right, one more grape shot. A grape shot for the win. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Cleaning your quest. Gonna tell me about trinkets. What does this do? Ah, that's decent. Something doesn't. The bandit's trapped chest. Yeah, let's open it. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. <laughs> So I don't know what it, what is even different with the DLC. I don't I learn, I know literally nothing about the DLC. So far I think it's the same. Welcome home. Scrolling. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these okay. corrupted lands. They are yours now. I think this is still all the same. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What the heck is this? I think I just have to get through the tutorial, so. The tutorial I'm probably gonna do Torchless anyway. Like, I'll see how I feel about it. I think Torchless is gonna be a nightmare when playing on this DLC, considering it's more difficult. But if I feel like things are easy, I'm just gonna do Torchless anyway and I'll see what happens. I don't care. I know all this stuff, the usual suspect. Let's give you this. What are the concern? What the heck? The preparedness. Huh? Measured now in gold. Sharp dust. Later. Use to tap into otherworldly power, but beware its other effects cannot be used while virtuous. Like, I know a lot about the base game, I know a lot of the strategies. The thing I am the worst at is just choosing my party. Sometimes I choose a party, I think it's good, and then it just doesn't work and they die horribly. That's something that happens, but other than that, I'm pretty good about this game. Right, we get some skellies. I can deal with some skellies. Another abomination. Corpses. Oh no, there's a corpse. Oh great. Wait, you're one of those vestals? Oh great. I should uh, I should switch the plague doctor and the vestal actually. My vestal can't do anything in that spot other than healing. Another one falls. Yeah, right. Because if you look at my vestal, there's like a position two and three vestal. Have I told you guys I like this narrator? <laughs> I'm gonna say that so many times. Oh no, the torch is getting low. Whatever will I do? Oh no. Um, let's try to stun you, I guess. Nice. This, the, uh, these guys don't have great skills, I must admit. I could probably just one-shot you, right? Yeah, I can. I definitely can. Oh god. Always this game, man. I also didn't even look at the traits. That's another thing I'm bad at. I'm really bad at looking at traits. Yeah, there's definitely some lag and delays, I feel like. I'm just gonna give up and just say this is the best I can manage. Like, in my, in my Torchless Darkest Dungeon runs, like, I've, I've got so many stories about that, uh, about that run that were amazing, like, you know that, uh, if you know this game, you know there's a boss called the Prophet, and 
the last fear of profit I just couldn't beat it for some reason it was like impossible for me to do that so at some point I found the right squad to beat him what was that squad well it was a Vestal a Crusader a Crusader and a Crusader <laughs> I brought three Crusaders three of them and I mowed them down Die! Their formation is broken. <laughs> or that one time when my leper had like 50% crit and within like 20 hits he didn't crit once. And my Arbalest with 20% crit hit did a crit every single time. You know stuff like that. But that's what this game is about. And maybe it's just OBS that's slowing a that, that's showing a laggier version of this. That could also be possible. Like, the way I'm recording this is I am looking at OBS here. That's the only way I can really figure out to look at, the, at, at my Nintendo Switch screen. Because my Switch, obviously, is in my dock. And I know I have a torch. I'm only going to use it when it's pitch black. Because, you know, I don't want to run into the bloody Shambler. Trap. Yeah. I just don't want to run into the Shambler. It's like the worst thing ever. Like, I can survive the Shambler most of the time. I have I've lost quite a few heroes to the Shambler. I can survive the Shambler, but when you beat, when, like when you fight a Shambler, at that point you're in such bad shape that you really can't continue the dungeon. Shambler is rough. There was this one run where I was going after a boss. I think it was the Hag. And I fought the Collector. The Shambler and the Hag. And they beat them all. In one run. <laughs> ah, there we go. There it is. Alright. This music is also good. Everything in this game is good. This game is good. Buy this game. Not sponsored, by the way. This game is bad! <laughs> Ow! God! Ow! Thanks. I want you to stop. I should have healed. The wounds of war can, can be healed. But never hidden. Okay, kind of out of out of sync, but yeah, that's fine. You attack by Vestal. Crit. Yeah. <laughs> what did I tell you? Oh, death on the first run. Death on the first run. Oh, that ought to be fun. You die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die, buddy. <laughs> so stupid. Ah, well, there it comes. Affliction. Imagine if I get a virtue. Yep. Well, it's masochistic. That's, at the end of the run, that's fine. Right, you die. Okay, like, we're fine for this run. Like, I'm gonna beat this, I know that. But for my next run, I'm kinda screwed. That's a nice damage. For my next run, I'm screwed because all my heroes have high stress. So I'm gonna have to bring two heroes with high stress to my next run. That's how uh, my very first character in my Torchless run died because of stress. I'm not good about preventing stress often. I let it go too easily. Oh yeah, that reminds me of that one time where I had a Vestal. It became afflicted. Then with the Crusader, I made sure uh, she removed all her stress. Then she became afflicted again. Removed all her stress. Then she became afflicted again. And then I almost removed all her stress again. Like I almost cured three afflictions in the same dungeon. To be fair, it was a long dungeon, but still. Right. I should not skip this. I always skip this too much. Ruin Scrouncher. Scouting chance in runes. Lycophobia. Like, if you use Torch, things like Lycophobia are not an issue, but for me, it's, it's these things that are an issue. Balance, fast healer. Okay, not great traits. Not great traits. I didn't have an outro, so this is the outro. Bye!